Salam. That's it. You just open it. But you open the door. Just open the door and say salam. Yeah, when I knock the door, just go salam. And it's like, welcome us as if we're your, your children. I kill you. <laughs> I was in Los Angeles, California, spending time in the glamorous city that is home to the largest population of Iranians outside of Iran. With an estimated 800,000 Iranians calling LA home, Iranian Americans have their own culture and even their own community, Tarangelis. To the Costco of Persian food, the biggest food. Okay. What do you think of like, Iran right now? Would you ever go back? I don't want to talk politics. Okay. I am not afraid of talking. But with relations between Iran and America not being particularly positive, what do these successful Iranians think of potential war between their adoptive country and their Iranian homeland? Sometimes uh, you have to take a very uh, powerful and strong step to send a message to Iranian government. And sometimes the only message to them is power and force and how are they perceived by the Americans they now call their neighbours. Give me three words when I say the word Iran. Iran? Mm -hmm. I run. Uh, well, scary. Scary. Like, I don't like your face. You're not a you good guy. You don't like guy. my face? I don't like your face. <laughs> I'm going to kill you and shoot you with a drone weapon. First off, I had arranged to meet UCLA's professor of Iranian and Judeo studies, Nahid Pernazar at a home in the swanky yeah, Beverly Hills. You're welcome. So is this from the party? No, it's this always here. <laughs> Persians in the party. Yeah. The Jewish Iranian American made the trip to the US just before the revolution and has since been a leading figure in the Iranian community. <laughs> Iranians have come basically to the United States at different intervals. By the rise of the revolution from, let's say, a, a few months before till a six months or a year after, there was a larger group, but still they were the very affluent people. They were, they, they, these are the people who, who could afford to come all the way temporarily yeah. to America. What's the, like the religious demographic? Here in LA? I think there's a, still I, I would say the largest group is Muslim and then Jewish probably. There's a large community of Armenians here in the city of Glendale, mm -hmm. Zoroastrians, and Baha'i. Do these different religions get on? Beautifully, yeah. Really? Yes. That's one of the things I say. One, uh, ever since the revolutions, all the Iranians have lived abroad in diaspora especially in this country, that passion for Iran and love of Iran has made them very cooperative and respectful to each other. Do you yourself feel more Iranian, more Jewish or more American? I feel all three of them together and I see no conflict between them. There's no conflict to be so do you an Iranian. All the traditions you've got? Yes, and I make sure my children respect and observe all of them, and they do very much. Mm -hmm. there, is no, there is no, absolutely no conflict between any of them. And uh, hopefully things will work for the best. I truly, truly hope that there will not be any uh, military between conflict. Yeah. How, I, would you, how would you feel? I like hope that was? won't happen. I hope yeah. that will not happen. I hope that the Iranian will people themselves would rise to this and solve the solution. Mm -hmm. Nobody from outside can do it. There's no chance. They, they, they don't care about the... I wanted to see if Nahid's views were echoed amongst the Iranian community and to get a better taste of Iranian American life. I can retrace my roots. So I traveled to a popular Iranian cafe in North California and waited for the smell of the traditional kebab to bring me in some arrangements. You know, the difference between uh, North California and South California, South California mostly are business people type. You know, you know Bazaar and like Iran, they came, they even to But here, more educated people. Like, it's more technical. Yeah, technical. Tech. They go to colleges and get their degrees. So, are you so, speaking Farsi or English? On it? Well, or like it depends. Uh, I speak more English than Farsi. Farsi is only here one day, one day, That's one right hour. Is. That's so, it. Are you the same? Yeah, the same thing. My two boys are know a little Farsi, but... Uh, I can't speak any Farsi. Yeah. My, my, my dad, he's 
to him. Like he, he speaks English more. Well, he, he thinks in English. Fine, he's even started to get like an English accent. He's completely lost. Like, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much anything. Well, he's. It's like when you go to Rome, you do what Romans do. Yeah. yeah. Do you think people sort of get along better? No, religion, I don't think there are religious people no. here. Iranians are not religious in here in the United States. Mm -hmm. I mean, I cannot say 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. but majority non not religious. Mm -hmm. and they don't care about religion, I think. So religion has nothing to do with it. Most religious, because they hear Iranian, we like to be around you know, each other, sort of close. So do you feel, do you feel more Iranian or more American? Well, at heart, I'm always Iranian, mm -hmm. but you know, here I'm an American. Just I'm an American citizen. California's Iranians might feel American, but how much do they influence Iranians still in Iran? I was invited to California's most popular Iranian radio station, KIRN, to speak to daytime host Shahzad Ardalan about her show's effect on her homeland. Shut the doors, therefore, uh, no interruptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was Good morning. And I would like to look like Angelina Jolie or something. Yeah. Like you already do. So. Oh, you're so kind. Yeah. So is this owned by an American company? It is. And it's for Iranians? Yes. So what, what's your personal aim? My show, I have a daily two-hour show, Monday through Friday, from 10 to 12. My show is called Life is Beautiful. And um, it was not easy to stick to such a... A message and I truly believe that life is beautiful but to relay this message at a very difficult time that people migrate and they have to deal with a um, lot of different issues of uh, immigration um, adapting to the new life but I just uh, invite the audience to have a positive happy attitude towards life so is it specifically for Iranians who have just came over to America or is it for Iranian Americans or is it for... Well, nowadays through the internet and because of the website, uh, people listen to us all over the world. Mm -hmm. But it is an AM radio station, so it's l mostly uh, local, but throughout the internet all over the world. Anybody who speaks Farsi and would like to listen to us, they just join it. So is this listened to in Iran? Do you know? If they go onto on the, the website, onto the website. Yes. And what do you think this could do for Iranians? Does it give them a different perspective of things? Well, um, this is uh, not a political radio, so the programs are informative. Uh, we have the news, we have uh, different programs with different messages to send out. But uh, um, I don't know how easy it is in Iran to go on into the website and listen. So you play traditional Iranian music? All sorts. On this. Oh, different kinds. Because uh, interestingly enough, I think the, the, the youth nowadays uh, are more interested to find out about their roots, their background. Their roots and their background, eh? Is that what this is called? I managed to swindle my way into the dance practice of UCLA's Iranian student group. The group is run solely by girls who love all things Persian, but does that mean alcohol and partying were off the table? We're on ISG board, we're in charge of the Do you all drink and like party and stuff? Um, I, you know, I have my share of fun. <laughs> parties, yeah, fun. Yes, so yeah, what, what, I'm what youthful, is... I enjoy myself. So do you think you're, you're in the, into the American culture? So you go out of a Friday and Saturday? Well, definitely, yeah. compared to Iran yeah. or like what our parents do and what the generation that now does, their partying is completely different. Do, you, do your parents care at all? about you going out and drinking already? Um, I think my parents know that yeah. I do, and they just prefer for me not to talk Tell to them about it. It's safer it. too. Yeah. It's my safer. parents know, they're aware, and they're just like, as long as you're safe. And yeah. if anything, it's more, if you want to drink with us, you know, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what religion are you? I'm Zoroastrian, or Zartoshi. And are you? Um, I'm culturally Muslim. That's what I tell people anywhere that, I guess, the religion has kind of become intermingled with Persian culture. Does that, does that affect you at all? <coughs> Do you all just get on? We all get along. Honestly? It doesn't affect yeah, us at all. Yeah, we get along fine. So you guys, when you're dancing, you sort of there's a bit more, you know, provocative sexual moves. Is that every <laughs> is that every an issue for you? I've seen some body popping going on. <laughs> um, has anybody ever said anything to you about? No one said hmm. anything. No, it's just it's our culture. But... When I was in um, Iran, like about seven years ago. We were, in a, we were in a restaurant and a woman got thrown out of it dancing. 
you're basically doing that? Um, well, that's definitely, you know, a decision that um, Iran's government has decided, you know, to make. Um, and, it, you know, definitely thinking about it makes you appreciate the liberties you have as an American. Um, I definitely appreciate all the struggles my parents went through to come here um, and give me an easier life. I definitely don't know what that's like. Um, I personally don't agree. I think people should, you know, be able to do whatever they want as long as they're not harming themselves or others. Do you think Americans um, like Iranians? Is that like American Americans or yeah, Iranian actually, Americans? Actually, actually, if, you, if I go down to Texas, speak some Texans. Uh, what, what, what's, uh, their, what's their view of Iran? Well, see, that goes political, though. A lot of yeah. the reasons why Persians or Iranians are viewed in a negative way mm -hmm. would come from politics or the news. Um, a lot of the time, culturally, we're not um, acknowledged in that way, or if we are, it's in a history class, and then they talk about us for like a chapter, and that's about it. As my urban Iranian dance show unfortunately came to an end, a new day quickly began, and I wanted to find out what Californians thought of Iran. I took to LA's glorious Santa Monica Bay to ask some questions, but I soon realized that asking people about politics on a Californian beach isn't exactly easy. Excuse me? No? Okay. Excuse me? Excuse me, can I ask you a quick question on US politics? No, sorry. No? Quick, quick. Oh, how could it not be a thing? Excuse me? No, thanks. You don't even know what I'm going to ask. I could be giving you free cookies. Yeah. I could be. Can I ask you a quick question on US politics? Please, no? We have to go get our sure, you do. Okay, thanks. Excuse me? Can I, can I ask you a quick question on US politics? Sorry, no, no. I hate politics. Oh. How do you hate politics? It's life. The country you're on. Give me three words. I mean, I gotta say, good spot, not that safe, more, more security. You run? Mm -hmm. I run. Uh, well, scary. Scary. That's one way. Two more. <laughs> Two more. <Yeah. laughs> Surprising and um, worrisome. I'll give it three words. Yeah. First three words come to mind. First three comes. Uh, great about, culture. About, about, about Iran. Iran, yeah. Human rights. What about human rights? Uh, not being respected or people not having freedom. Okay. Uh, yeah. More. Great culture, as I said, uh, beautiful people. You seem to have two opposing views. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Americans know about Iran enough to make an assumption on the no, war with Iran? I, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think, you know, we Americans know very little about the world around us. Can I ask you a quick question on US politics? Sure. Um, give me three words that first come to mind when I say the country Iran. Three words when you say Iran? Mm -hmm. The first three words that come to mind. Uh, Persian. Mm -hmm. Clear. Mm -hmm. uh, Ayatollah. So, do you, have you got good or bad um, connotations with the with the word? Uh, I'd say neutral. Would you care if there was military action in Iran, a war with Iran? Yeah, I would care. What would you think of that? Would that be a good or bad idea? I think it would be a bad idea. So, what do you think of nuclear bombs in Iran? I don't think that's good for anybody. No. So what I don't think nuclear, except nuclear. No, not even nuclear power is good, because that causes nuclear disasters, right? Most Californians seem to agree that war isn't the answer, but views on Iran as a whole were not exactly good. I began to have a sneaking suspicion that Iran's association with Islam was the major factor in America's negative connotations with the country. I decided to attend the poetry night at LA's Iranian American Muslim Association of North America, Iman for short, to find out. I had been given permission to speak with Hirad Vardat, the communications and outreach officer of the center who is in charge of appealing to the younger Iranian generation in LA. You came from Iran two years ago, what's Iran like now? I've, I've heard that, um, I never read any news and I talked to my family. Because of sanctions, the economy situation is not good in Iran. The main um, effect of these sanctions are, uh, I mean, are uh, on our Iranian people. So what do you think of the uh, Iranian-American youth here? Do you think they actively, do you think they follow Iranian traditions? Mm -hmm. Do they keep up with Iran? Do they... uh, that's a good question. 
Um, my perception of uh, Iranian American here was mostly that uh, actually that's one of those uh, bad effect of the media I inside Iran. Do you think that all the Iranian youth or Iranian American here are um, they're not Muslim? They're not respect religion. They're not um, because they live in a in, a, in this tinsel town, so they 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 act like. Um, um, American or this, but uh, when I came here in, in, in Iman Center, uh, it's uh, it's very interesting that I saw Iranian youth here that, that they, they pray. Okay. What do you think Iranian people want? What do they what would they like? Mostly they against war or military action. Okay. Yeah, we do have a eight years big war in Iran and nobody. Nobody benefit from that war, so nobody like another war. It was becoming pretty clear that both Iranians and Americans were against the idea of war. And on a trip to San Francisco's iconic Golden Gate Bridge, I bumped into a protest by a group called the Pink Group that seemed to be relaying that exact message. What are we trying to do? Yeah. Get a message out about working for peace and stopping war. And today, the, the big message is peace with Iran because the yeah, U.S. and Israel right are right threatening there. Iran pretty uh, heavily. If America did go into Iran, oh, what, what I would find that horrifying. And I hope that we've learned a lesson in our botched attempts at establishing whatever it is we tried to establish in Iraq, which is failing, and Afghanistan, which is getting nowhere, at a cost of trillions of dollars and millions of lives. And it is an abomination of foreign policy. Okay, this is what I passed out to the people in the bridge today. Yeah. So what what are you what what's your what's your main aim? I think that all war, if you look deep enough, all war is for serving the one percent to help the one percent hang on to their assets, stay rich, and especially the United States, the most powerful country in the world, has has been the biggest terrorist. We can kill anybody we want. Just like I don't like your face. You're not a you good like guy. My face. I don't like your face. I'm going to kill you and shoot you with a drone weapon. You know, I mean, it's surely shameful. What do you think of Iran? Of Iranians. I love Iran. I just saw a documentary about Iran, and the people of Iran love Americans, most of them. One Iranian who definitely likes Americans is two-time mayor of Beverly Hills, Jimmy Del Shod. The Persian Jewish mayor is the epitome of the American dream, rising from nothing to become the highest Iranian official in the US. Not only is he known to rub shoulders with LA celebrities, but I'd also hear he is known to have some pretty extreme views on the Iran-US war debate. He invited me to meet him in his pricey Beverly Hills office to find out. How do you think people, the people of Beverly Hills received when you became mayor? It was very exciting for the whole community. It wasn't just the community, the Iranian community. All, all foreign communities became very excited to get somebody that comes from nowhere, nothing, mm -hmm and then becomes a mayor. So during my inauguration, I used to see policemen and guards that were black or uh, from Taiwan crying and saying that it was a day for everybody to oh, rejoice. Really? Do you feel American now? Or do you still feel Iranian or do you feel Jewish? Once I became a citizen of America, my loyalty was America. So do you think with the current political problems, there could have been an Iranian president? Is that? I think it can be. Uh, you know, once this once this is over with Iran, uh, as long as they're born in America, if I was a, if I was born in America, I would have followed through and tried to become. How do you think military action would affect Iranians in Malay? How would they react? Uh, I, I think there's a mixed emotion. A lot of people don't like to see a conflict, a military conflict because we still have, all the people here have families and members in Iran and they're afraid that what would happen to them. Uh, so not everybody is really in favor of uh, military action, but uh, sometimes uh, you have to take a very uh, powerful and strong step to send a message to Iranian government. And sometimes the only message to them is power and force. Despite clear cultural differences, it seems Iranians and Americans are a lot more similar than their respective governments may have us think. 
There are clear differences and conflicts at hand, but it appears these may lie more with those leading the countries than those actually living in them. One thing that's for sure though, is that there's no other ethnic group that's managed to integrate with such success into American life while still keeping so many of its traditions. Los Angeles offers an example of Iranian American coexistence, and this can only be a positive thing for the two countries in the future. For the time being though, it's refreshing to see two nations that have clashed so heavily politically, made so beautifully on a social scale. And who knows, maybe this could be an example of a not so distant future.